Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This tutorial is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama, L-E-A-R-N-O-R-A-M-A, -A -A, and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. If you haven't subscribed to the, to the YouTube channel, uh, I would recommend that you do so, and if you haven't become the fan of the Facebook page, I would recommend that you do so as well. Um, we are basically, in today's tutorial, we are learning about uh, how to pass arrays as parameters to function and uh, this is actually part 3 of this tutorial so the link to part 1 must be displayed on the screen right now if you haven't uh, watched the first two parts I would recommend that you watch them first by clicking on the link um, so let's get started so we are basically in this tutorial we are we are writing a program that would basically add all the number of all the number of days in each of the months to gather to get the total number of days in the in a year and for this we are basically right we have declared an array here and we have initialized it with all the number of days in the corresponding months and then we are basically calling into a function um, and passing the array just like that and this we are assuming that this function is going to return that by adding all these numbers together and it will return the sum back to the caller and we are going to capture that sum uh, in the in this variable n days in year and then we basically print this out so our main function is complete the only task is remaining the subtask if you will is remaining uh, that's remaining is basically um, writing or defining this function how it's going to basically take the array and add individual elements of that array to compute the total number of days in the year so here we are so we basically have declared the prototype and this is how you actually pass the array to a function as a parameter and this is only one way of doing that we will learn the an another way and this is basically passing the it by value which basically very similar to passing the passing the an integer a simple integer by value by when 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 you declare it that way what happens is basically it copies the value from the caller like in this case it's going to copy the entire array from here into here and when it, in this function this array the values of this array you know all these values will be accessible by this name okay and this is called passing the array by value or passing the parameter by value why because you know you copied the values over and this also implies that if inside it if you change any of those elements it's not gonna change any of the elements of the caller itself okay so let's uh, but let's not worry about that let's basically try to compute the let's try to implement this function okay how it's going to basically add all these elements together so it's uh, it's it's pretty simple right well, all we have to do we have to we ha we already know that there are total number of 12 elements in this uh, array okay and we have to add each one of them together so since we know that we have to add individual elements we have to visit every element in this array one by one and we know the total number of uh, of elements in this array the best thing to do when this thing happens is basically to use a for loop okay not the while loop for loop why because we know how many times we have to uh, we have to go through this array it's not it's 12 okay so in this case we are going to learn we, we are going to use the um, for loop so first thing we have to do is to basically declare the counter for this for loop and then we start writing the for loop okay for i is equal to 0 if you still remember in 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 one of the tutorials long long ago we basically learned how to write for loops for i is equal to 0 i is less than then comes the condition first initialization of the counter variable loop counter variable this is called loop counter variable this is what, where we have defined it first initialization we will start with 0 because you know this will also represent the index of each of the uh, elements so let's call it index okay and then it's always good to name the variables with the name that it that, that particular variable represents okay F for index equal to 0 index is less than how many 12 should I write less than or less than equal to correct less than because we know 
that even though there are 12 elements, the index starts from 0 and runs all the way to 1 less than the total number of elements, which is going to be 11. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So index has to run from 0 to 11. So less than 12. Okay, index is less than 12. Index plus plus. This way, index starts from 0 and this loop runs until the index becomes greater than or equal to 12. In other words, it keeps on running for as long as this condition is met, for as long as index is less than 12. And then for every time when it runs, it loops, the value of index is incremented by 1. And what do we do in the body of the, of the for loop? In the body of the for loop, we are going to basically add this each of the elements together okay so where whatever the current element is which would be represented by which can be accessed like this by using the index of that array by indexing into that array that's what we call indexing into the array to basically access the individual elements so the value of index would be 0 we'll be accessing the first element the value of index would be 1 we'll be accessing the second element and so on and we basically put it in some variable called sum okay and what we're going to do is basically whatever the current sum is the last sum we basically keep on adding that on top of it okay that's how we accumulate all the values together into a sum okay and we basically assign that to sum itself so that we can use it in the next loop around okay and this statement can also be written in short like this sum plus equal to days of index it's exactly the same statement okay it's just a f fancier way of writing it but it is recommended when you are writing c program you do it this way this results in more efficient code um, when the compiler uh, compiles it well nowadays all the compilers are very smart so it really doesn't matter um, anyway so this is how you do it okay this will uh, actually compute the sum of all those elements together okay and for that you will before we do this we we also have to we forgot to basically um, we forgot to um, okay so um, yeah so the was well, sorry for the distraction I have to pause it for a little bit you you probably can't uh, notice it but uh, anyway so we have to um, <coughs> so we have to declare this variable and one more important thing that you have to do since it basically keeps on adding into the previous value it is very very important to basically initialize it to zero so that it is zero when it starts in the beginning okay and let's let me start bring bring up my pen here to represent what's going on here oh let's see let me plug it in uh here so okay so this is the array okay it has all these elements here one two three four five and so on we are running out of time here uh, I'm kind of panicking zero one two three four and so on to eleven right and then there is this variable called sum right this variable right here sum and we have initialized it to zero and this element contains thirty one this element contains 28, 31, 30, and so on. And then, first time when this is going to execute, sum equal to sum plus days, which means that whatever the value of sum is, you add the days of index va of index 0, which is the 0th element here. And you add this in here, right here. And that basically gives you, is going to give the sum, and then, you know, assign it back to sum. So let's gonna, we are going to stop here, because we are running out of time. Thank you so much.